slowly approaching the day of love. The concept of love has always fascinated me. But then again, anything that relates to the brain fascinates me. So in this video, I'm going to be tackling the concept of love. And specifically in this video, the romantic kind. If you thought this guy was going to be involved in the video, I'm sorry, he's not. Now, this is going to be a serious one and it's going to get a bit deep. I told you guys over on my Instagram that I was filming this video and I asked you guys to send a few questions in. So that'll be the second half of this video where I answer your guys' questions about the concept of love. First of all, love is everywhere. Whether that's a hobby you find, a family member, a friend, but however romantic love, we don't always plan for, but it seems to be everywhere in the media. Whether it's on Instagram, TikTok, and it's in your face of couples dancing in the rain, or if it's in a romantic movie, or in a Taylor Swift song. It's everywhere, we can't escape it, and it is one of the scariest things ever, and one of the most powerful things ever. Now, Younger Bakey never thought I'll be making this video because I kind of never believed in love, and I never thought it could happen to me. Well, I did believe in love, like I wanted it, but it just seemed like a weird concept to me. And love happens when you least expect it, I could tell you that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tell you about my love story. Growing up, I had many friends, but I always liked to keep myself to myself and work on my own thing. And my own thing was this YouTube thing. And I fell in love with this. This was my first love. And I couldn't think about anything else besides this. I always liked the idea of having a boyfriend, but when it came down to it, I was like, that's too much time on something else that isn't me. And yes, I will admit this, I was very selfish, but not in like a selfish way, but more like I loved myself and I wanted to do the one thing that I love and just really focus on my thing. There was no way I could focus on anyone else. To me, growing up, boyfriends equaled time and that was time away from this. <laughs> and I've never said this before, but anything physical would freak me out. I genuinely don't think I was ready for a relationship until I was 25 and my current relationship now. So anyone out there who's scared that they are getting old and they haven't had a serious proper one, don't worry. I think once I achieve what I wanted to achieve in here, I could finally have a new love. Now, what makes a good relationship and what do I see in a relationship? Also, I'd just like to say these are all my own opinions and everything works different for other people. That's the beauty of love and everyone loves differently, which is another thing. Understanding that your partner may love you differently and other people's brains work differently. That's a key one. But my most important thing is good communication and how you deal with challenges in a relationship. Even the best relationship that you feel has no flaws will always have challenges. And it's the way you deal with that and the maturity that you deal with that is what I think is attractive in a relationship. So communication is vital. For me personally, I need a soulmate. It needs to be a soulmate. It needs to be someone that I feel comfortable with. And like, as bad as it sounds, like I love doing stuff by myself. I enjoy it. Like, I don't get me wrong. I could go to the zoo by myself. But when nothing really feels better than when you're with them, I feel like you've found your soulmate. Like, I could do stuff on my own, but obviously I'd always prefer to have them there. I feel like that's what I feel like is love. Obviously, there's so much more to love and there's so much under the surface, but that's that's what I think in a very quick way. This isn't just for relationship. This is what I want to give to you guys today for a bit of advice. And I feel like I don't have a brain to mouth filter sometimes, but this is a good brain not having a brain to mouth filter. If you think of something nice about someone, say it to them. Whether it's their compliment in their t shirt, like if you think about it, you're like, oh, that's a really good top. And then you just carry on with your day. Why would you not voice that? That could make someone's day. The same thing happens in relationships, friendship. If you have something nice to say, say it. And trust me, it really, really increase your life. Love is such a powerful thing and such a terrifying thing. Now I was always focused on myself and I never really knew what it was like to have someone so important in your life. It really scared me. Like I love my family and all that but like my romantic love was something completely different that I wasn't aware of how I would feel. And if you want to know what it feels like to be in love, it's kind of like a knot slash butterflies in your stomach. Like a lot of the feelings are very normal, even if you're like, oh, should I be anxious? Yeah, a little bit, you know, because it's such a powerful thing, it's love. It shouldn't just be plain sailing of just like no anxiousness, no scaredness, because this is someone that you love very, very much. And your body and brain doesn't really know how to deal with it sometimes because it's a, like, it's out of this world sometimes. <laughs> the point of where you should be questioning it if it's overtaken the actual good side of it. Like, I feel like it's normal to have a little pop in your head of like, do they still love me? Or like, oh, do they feel this or do that? They feel that about me, but I feel like this about me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's normal because they're such an important person in your life. But honestly, at the end of the day, you should be con content and happy. Not happy 24-7, happy with absolutely everything because you're two different people. You know, you've got to meet halfway
away on a lot of things but at the end of the day you should be content you should still be able to be yourself that's a big one be yourself in it them still be themselves and you're better when you're together and you bring the best out of each other some tension sometimes because there's two strong individual loves going on but i think content is the right word that i want you guys to take away from this and safe you should feel safe in your relationship. All right, I feel like I've waffled enough. I'll go onto Instagram and answer your questions about the concept of love. Is love a choice or a feeling? Now, I feel like it's kind of both, but also sometimes you don't get a choice. Your body tells you and it just gets taken away. And honestly, all thoughts of structure, what's that word I'm thinking of? Sense goes and you just honestly get carried away so i don't feel like you get a choice in who you love but sometimes you gotta be stern with yourself and if they're not the right one i know it's very hard to walk away but it has to be your choice to walk away but the actual first feeling of falling in love and being in love isn't necessarily a choice if that makes sense how do i stop myself falling in love with someone so quickly you don't you're gonna have to ride that wave and no matter what i feel like you just can't turn it off because your brain is so powerful and will not allow it to but honestly if you want to slow it down a bit think about yourself before love and how you was and honestly just focus on yourself do what makes you happy because honestly i know everyone says this you can't love someone else if you don't love yourself and if you're in a relationship right now and you don't really love yourself and you know you're relying on them, trust me you'll be so much happier once you work on yourself for example like a toxic relationship you're so focused on what's the negatives in the relationship what they're doing wrong whereas in a good relationship you then start thinking about yourself and evaluating yourself and then you realize actually i might not be loving myself here and honestly if you love to love yourself love to love them is gonna get better and better but that's way easier said than done and you can't always just rely on your partner because you don't feel right in yourself rely on them to make you happy like obviously yes they're gonna cheer you up they're gonna be there for you but they don't want to be a therapist to you you know and if you love yourself it will shine through onto the relationship honestly you're both loving yourself you're both loving each other it's just how would you describe the difference between a platonic and a romantic love? For me personally, I think these two are very, very close to each other and it's just like a little tip on the scale where it just goes over to like romantic gestures and stuff and it's just a little bit more like the difference between someone being your best friend and your boyfriend should be very, very close. It's just you have a little bit of romantic elements on top of that but I feel like it's good to have your soulmate best friend be your partner you know what does it feel like to fall in love a roller coaster not butterflies like no other feeling it's a big distraction that's for sure it does consume your head it's powerful it's lovely it's terrifying it's all of the above you're in for a ride and you can't really explain what love feels like but you know when you know do you believe that soulmates are found or made i feel like you find them but also make them <laughs> for example over time you become more like each other take up each other's tendencies and then you're like oh you're my soulmate like i feel like it's a little bit under it and you grow together to then become soulmates i've never experienced this and i'm almost 19 no boyfriend do you have any advice for me so much advice be patient honestly your early years you just need to focus on yourself and even if you're older than me watching this video and you still haven't found someone be patient i honestly was questioning so so many things because I was at like the age of 23 and I wanted to have a relationship but I never had like a proper one and I wasn't getting the feelings that I thought I would get. I was scared and I thought oh my god it is so late for me. No one's gonna want to be with me because I have no experience on a relationship and then boom I'm in one now. So you have got plenty of times and it will happen when you least expect it I promise you. What do you think is the most important in a relationship? Being content. Like it takes a lot of effort to be in a relationship. It shouldn't be no effort at all oh, this is content, relax, blah, blah. No, you still both got to put in effort because that's what a relationship is. But there's a point where it should just flow and be nice. You trust each other, communication, and you feel safe together. Do you think love languages are important? So here are my love languages on the screen. I think it's very good to know your partner's likes and dislikes or like the more that they enjoy, but don't take it literal. Just treat love languages like any other relationship poll or quiz. Like it's a fun thing to do, but it's not the be all Lendl. Like, don't treat love languages like some people treat star signs. Like, oh, you don't like quality time, I don't like quality time, oh, we won't intertwine. Like, you know what I mean? Like, e everyone loves differently. I think love languages are fun and it's a good five piece structure. Like, it covers a lot of basics, bases of a relationship and it covers a broad thing of a relationship. Words of affirmation, compliment each other. Think something nice, say something nice. Quality time, for me, that is a relationship. Whether you're long distance and you have to do it over a call, quality time. If you don't like 
spending time with each other, then that's a bit of a worry. Acts of service doesn't necessarily have to be like making the bed. It could just be, I've done this for you because I know you like this. And it just gives them a little bit of a warm sense of feeling. Physical touch, not necessarily needed. Like some people don't like physical touch. But if you both like physical touch and none of it's happening, then that could be upsetting. Receiving gifts, yeah, you might not have a lot of money, but writing a letter is free and giving them that letter is free. Or making something homemade or painting something. You know, you can make a homemade gift. Would you rather be loved or trusted? Do you think they're always intertwined or separate? I think love is trust. How could you love someone that you never met? See, this is the thing. This is why I had a problem with dating apps. Like, a lot of them were, like, picture-based and, like, over text. Whereas I like to be friends first and then it slowly tips over. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta like someone for, like, six months and then it starts becoming more. So, dating sites were always the worst for me. I need to love them as a friend first and then the friend tips over. Do you know what I mean? But then again, you could, you know... Especially in this stone age online, if you hang out with that person all the time on FaceTime and stuff, then yes, you could defo fall in love. That the only thing that happens when you're in person is the physical side of love, you know? But a thousand percent quality time as well, like that could make you fall in love with someone and that's just all across the online. But yeah, I think that's a, that's a lot of talk about love. Um, in conclusion, you know when you know. Love is intense. It should be intense. And if you still haven't found your one, you have so much time and it will happen when you least expect. And also, love it whilst you're single. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, you don't realise, like, when you're single, you all you want to do is be in a relationship. But you just really just got to ride that wave. And there's a lot of things that when you're single, you can focus on a lot more and another person isn't consuming your mind so much. So enjoy it while it's there. You know, if you're there going through dating sites, trying all these, or going on dates and stuff, and it's just not happening, like, it's not you. It could be you, you know. If you're not a very nice person, then, you know, you might need to change that. But honestly, there is 7 billion people on this planet. There's a lot to choose from. And honestly, at the end of the day, Focus on yourself and what makes you happy. Obviously, always try and solve your issues that you feel like you have in a relationship. But if you've been trying that and it's still not working, love yourself, man. Love yourself and do what's right for you. That is the most important thing at the end of the day. Make sure you find the balance right between loving yourself and loving your partner. I'll say a good 60-40. I hope you respect my opinions in this. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree because it's a very weird subject. It's such a broad subject and there's just not enough time to fit it all into a video. And I've definitely forgot so many things but please go to the comments down below and let me know your opinions about everything that I said in this video. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. Like I'm standing up just doing a straight video like this. Lots of points to come across. But yeah, I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. And also if there's any other topics that you want me to do a video like this, like this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I do like talking about topics. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.